Hello. Uh, this is Psycho Tuna Fall 22. This is the first time I'm showing it uh, via presentation. I have almost all the samples, but I just wanted to get it out there and I'll probably send just an update with a few pictures of some printable fleece I don't have. But in general, uh, the brand makes really nice stuff and the pricing is really good. Um, the catalog pricing is USD. But the actual prices on the order form which went out are the Canadian prices, which is basically a 25% discount off of the US wholesale. So very good pricing, especially for the categories that they're attacking. Um, feedback's been really good, and I've actually had quite a few people pick it up. Um, it's fall, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on the shorts, but I will kind of take you through, like, obviously the principles. Uh, there's some great fleece, good jackets. Anyway, uh, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing in the catalog is their proper board shorts. These are a four-way stretch. Uh, all the board shorts come with a little waterproof bag and uh, carabiner. It just is in the back pocket. Uh, apparently there's shops in the States that are taking this little bag off of the shorts and then selling the bag on its own, which is crazy. Um, but in the end, what is this? It's a really nicely featured four-way stretch, bright, comfortable board short for 1950 wholesale. Um, they have little slip pockets on the left back leg. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It is obviously uh, string closure um, and Velcro as well for adjusting the fit. Has the zip pocket in the back with the little rubberized toggle. Inside there is where when it ships, it comes with that little bag. But that obviously is attached to the key ring which comes on every pair as well um, and yeah they're really bright prints all obviously very like fishing inspired and ocean inspired and that's the whole thing with the brand uh, everything is all of the poly and all of the cotton is either organic or upcycled so I mean everything all of the cotton is organic uh, the teas are like a 50 50 and the poly is all upcycled from water bo from uh, plastic bottles uh, the beginning of the catalog talks a little bit about that. There, there's a big focus here on the ocean and just, if you're gonna be making this kind of stuff and you're a surf brand or you're close to that, you really have to do your absolute best to make it happen and not be making as much of an impact where you can. So it's nice to have that. Um, so anyway, those are your, that's your kind of performance board short. I'm just gonna kind of throw up the graphics again. This being fall, I know we're not gonna see a lot of board short orders. Um, but you can see there's a lot, there's some definitely like very Americana stuff in there that's not really going to work for us, but there are some awesome ones like those whales, the humpbacks, I like that one. And there's a lot of, like this is a really cool nautical star. I love the hermit crabs, that's by far my favorite um, tea and there's a hat of that, hermit crabs getting barreled. Pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> and then almost like a, kind of Maori inspired. These are stingrays or manta rays, maybe even. Like the fishing boat. And I think those are jackfish. Oh, I just skipped to another. All right, that's the, so that's your elastic. These are your volleys. Um, we've gone out of the four-way stretches. These are the printed pool shorts. That's the hook and reel uh, is the first one there. And all of these elastic waistband ones are 18 Canadian wholesale. Uh, again, the pricing is like ridiculous. Um, these have a really cool feeling to them. They almost feel like a laminated short. Uh, so they shed water really nicely and it means the graphics show up really well. Uh, these guys, don't come with the, oh, they do, I'm sorry. They do come with the bag and it's in the pocket. So there's your bag. It's a little bit bigger on the volley. Yeah, there's that one. Another color of the Stingrays, really good green, almost. Uh, and I really like the pop color on the liner. On the, as you can see, it's like a laminated look. There's the jellyfish again. More jellies. 
but in more of like a teal. There's your whales again. Hermit crabs. These are all really fun. Jeeps. <laughs> like Jeeps and lookout tower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Airstream. Hanging out at the beach. And then there's that very Americana. Independence Day kind of print. And then your last two, Woody Wagon. And that same kind of pirate nautical. With the Jolly Roger. So that's your shorts. Printables. <clears throat> So again, all these are 100% sustainable fabric. <clears throat> the solids, <clears throat> excuse me, the solids are 11.25, and all of the piece dyed and like tie dye ish ones are 12.75. So there's your first print. This is a nice grape wine, nice and soft. Um, this is uh, actually later. Oh, sorry. Did I skip ahead? No. Uh, yeah, that is just the other colorway. Americana. So here's an example of a solid that's 11.25 with the humpback. Or is that a, that might be a blue whale. I think that's a blue whale. And then this one is 12.75. Jellyfish. This blue has gotten a, uh, a bunch of orders on the deep teal. That's been really good. And actually in this specific tea, I've had some great feedback and had some orders as well. So <clears throat> that's a good one. I don't know why I've scratched the throat. I'm fine. The ocean. <laughs> <clears throat> Woody Wagon. I like this. <clears throat> I like this next one as well. It's very cool. Really fun prints. These are plastisol prints. Um, there's no discharge other than the tie dyes, which even the tie dyes do have. Their prints on the tie-dyes are plastisol. And last but not least, that is the bombshell. And that is your hermit crab sending it. Really like that one, actually. <clears throat> Solids here. So there's your manta ray in the almost like Maori print, which is cool. Then some nice fishing action. I believe that's a jackfish. And there's their standard logo, and they carry this over every season. Yep, 
Again, the solids are uh, 11.25 and the stuff like this is 12.75, which is a nice tie-dye with the print. Sorry, get the black from that on as well. And that just has the one little psycho tuna hit on the shoulder. <clears throat> Long sleeves. 1275. There's that grape wine color as well. It does have psycho tuna down the sleeves. There's a big print on the back. And it does have a, a tonal stitch on the collar and on the hem. And you can see the flat stitch on the inside of it as well. Some Americana, game, Sailor Girl. There's the blue whale. Pretty sure it's blue whale. Could be a humpback. <laughs> Jellies with the sleeve print. Standard logo. You can see that all the pieces do have hang tags pointing out organic cotton and all the upcycled features. That's a US tag from my sample, obviously. This one's fun. white for that as well. Oh, this piece snuck ahead. Excuse me. That should have been back in the tees. Again, these, these two, the grape wine and this deep teal, they both have been great. And now we're into, there's your deep teal in the long sleeve. Side eye action with the hermit crab. Great wine. Um, in the fleece, I only have the one printed fleece sample here, <clears throat> but you do get an idea of the quality. These are really, really nice, nice and soft, uh, big, nice, bright prints. Again, that color doing really well. Um, there's a little flag down on the pocket, and these have a hidden zip in the side as well. So a little stash pocket, which is really cool. And that's just got a little toggle pull and full kangaroo show all the good stuff um, the eyelets are metal on these hoodies as well and all of the fleece are 22.50 so i'll send an update with some more of the sample pictures there um, then we have some joggers i've done a lot of jogger business these are some of the nicest sweatpants, other than the Banks like specialty fleece, which is kind of its own thing. These are super soft, very nice quality. The finish is really nice on them. I like they have a little pocket again, kind of up here, articulated on the on the upper leg, upper thigh. Just a cool little zip, and that's fleece. 
I like that uh, it has the little 3M kind of reflective Psycho Tuna there. Slip pocket. They're tapered nicely. And I do like that articulation spot. It's cool. Just they look a little bit more than laying on the couch track pants. <laughs> um, and there, the hoodie matches it perfectly. There isn't like a mismatch of materialization. They're using a manufacturer that's able to nail it so that they match perfectly, which is awesome. And that's the same fleece with the metal eyelids. It's got the hidden pocket on the side, all that stuff. So, and on top of that, $22.50 for like a nice basic fleece jogger. I mean, these are awesome. And there's a whole bunch of colors there. Obviously I'm missing the rose and the deep teal, but I think the deep teal, the black and this grape wine will do the best. There's that sky blue. Yeah, these are rad. And hopefully you can see kind of the 3M reflective there. Metal eyelets. Little Sego Tuna flag on the back. Minimal branding. They have matching hoods for all three, black, blue, and white. And there are kids ones as well. Uh, the kids catalog is going to go out with this video as well as pricing. Kids pricing is awesome. They also carry inventory on all of this. They've committed to production. So we have inventory to sell for spring, summer, and fall. Um, you can't, like there's, there's just a lot of potential here for margin. Anyway, I'll send out more detail on the kids stuff. And then outerwear. These were a surprise even to me. Pricing and quality here is really nice. $33.75. So button up. Actually, I'll show the detail on the button. So that's like a fully embossed button. This is flannel lined. Has pockets on both sides. Like a big pocket and a smaller pocket that's stitched next to it. That would be great for like a pair of sunglasses. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the, uh, I'm thinking of a different one. These do have a pocket inside, but it's not the pockets I was describing. So this just has like the nice wallet pocket there. Um, obviously this is a cotton. Um, and again, everything's upcycled. It's like a cotton canvas. Has the micro cord on the collar, full flannel on the inside, front zip pocket here. Slip pockets. Another, this is a snap pocket on the chest. Just the small embroidery on the chest. Very nice. And for the price too, it's really, really good. There's your charcoal. Again, with the flannel inside. Nice pop. The anoraks, <clears throat> the cyclone. Are 30 each. I only have the two colors, but I am going to get those other samples. Uh, they're rad. They're like scoop bottom. They do have uh, the zip on the side for getting in and out of them way easier. And that zips up all the way to the top of that color block. Um, they are all poly lined. I have the reflective logo on the, just the, the midway on the, the three quarter. Uh, have the zip pocket there with rubber toggles, rubber toggles on the zip, snaps, great boot string, metal, um, I always forget the name of those, <laughs> and uh, kangaroo pocket as well. The kangaroo pocket here actually meets in the middle and there's a seam, so they're big pockets, um, but they don't go all the way through. So as a windbreaker, you're not getting like that billowing with a kangaroo pocket that goes all the way through. If you've ever been fishing wearing like an anorak, that can happen. You get this like, like the wind blasting through the pocket. Um, at least I have that. Uh, yeah, and they're just in general. These are super tight, great looking anorak, good shell, good windbreaker, all that stuff. Where's the other sample? All these samples are size medium, by the way. Hey, $30, can't really go wrong. Flannels. 
So it's 18 for these more lightweight flannels. This great, great purple. The rainbow, this is rad. It actually is much nicer in the sample than the catalog that's on. It seems like it's quite stark, super bright, but this is a nice washed stripe without it being too muted. Green and black. And this chocolate brown. Super soft. Very nice. And then the final, the outerwear. These are snap plaid insulated jackets. This is the big pocket I was talking about. So it has one bigger pocket here and then like a tapered smaller pocket that's stitched between for like sunglasses or what have you. We got front snap pockets. Um, again, the embossed buttons. So like a really cool detailed button there with the name on it. Fully quilted. Snaps on the wrist and the quilting goes all the way through the arms without being super bulky. You get the brown and the blue, both very nice. Twenty-nine twenty-five. Um, the hook line and sinker. Uh, well, again, I won't spend a ton of time on this stuff, but this is our hybrid short, so just as good at the beach as it is on like the golf course. These are four-way stretch. They're very soft. Uh, they're featured just like the board short, except they have slip pockets on them, as well as the rear pocket, and uh, as well as the little slip pocket on the back. Like in this case, it's on both sides. Uh, button rear pockets, slip front, they are mesh lined, and they're 2025. I have the two colors, but as you can see, there are quite a few. Samples are 32s. Then we get into our sun protection. So these long sleeve hoodies have a neck gaiter on top of the hood, which has a taped finish. They are uh, elastane, I believe. Yeah, they're recycled poly and elastane. So super stretchy, super soft. Uh, they're UPF 50 plus, which is excellent. They have reflective Psycho Tuna branding down the arm. This one is 24 but the rest of the hoodies are 20, 25, and then the crew necks are 18. So there's your print. These are rad, for, especially for uh, if you are doing any kind of fishing or fly fishing to throw on under like a jacket, or if it gets too hot, or you're at the beach, or you're surfing, you get the picture. They do have venting under the armpits. It's like a laser cut. Hopefully you can see that. There's the manta rays. I like the green reflective on the sleeve on these ones. Whales. Crewnecks are really cool too. So there's your like heathered or medium gray, I think it's called, something like that. And there's the hermit crabs. And that's 18. And last but not least, again, 18 bucks for all these. These are the matching button ups, uh, four way stretch have rear vent in them, which is awesome. Uh, the yoke on the inside is all lined with like a mesh. 
super light. These are obviously upcycled poly again. Really nice kind of formal-ish button up for, yeah, like I, I can see golfing in this, tennis, poolside, all that stuff. The little 3M reflective on the back there also. And then we have the all over prints in those as well, in the manta ray. And you can kind of see these have like a cool grid material to them, which is where the stretch comes from. And then the last two of the button ups, you get your hermit crabs. and the fishing, the sport fishing action. And that's all for the button up stuff, apparel. The next thing we have is the accessories. Now I have the buckets and the tillies. So here's your boonie hats. These are all really nice and bright and they're because of the material they use being similar to the board shorts, they're actually quite structured without they're not gonna like get all crumpled down. I don't have anything in these. They're not like being held up by anything. They're very nice. The brims are structured without being like too, they're not like moldable, movable, but they aren't gonna be all floppy, even if they get water on them. They are metal eyeleted. Have the toggle string. And then here's your buckets. These are all washed cotton. And the hermit crabs. Um, I don't have the beanies or the trucker hats, but the pricing on them are very good. Uh, the both the buckets and the boonie hats are thirteen fifty. So again, the pricing is ridiculous. Um, they've been doing these for a very long time, and they have inventory on them all the time. They're turning over boonie hats all the time. It's just a huge thing for their brand. So there is inventory to attack on that. Um, I will be at Metro Show from the 4th to the 7th of February. If you would like to come see the stuff in person, I'd be super pumped to show you. I'll be in Ed Lachelle's ro uh, showroom, which I believe is 187. And yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, hopefully I can get you guys into some fun, bright, new brand. I also wanted to quickly show just a size comparison, like this being um, the men's hoodie. Uh, you might be able to see my head for the first time in this video. I just realized it was all cut off. Uh, this is the men's sizing. Here's the kid's sizing. So it's not like toddler. It's more like actual kids, youth sizing in comparison. And this, the kid's size, that's a medium or 10 to 12. That's a medium men's. And that uh, same thing, the crew neck there. All the tees and hoodies are also available in kit sizing. And then the shorts, which are really nice. These are all um, pieces from fall and summer, but like these hammerhead sharp ones, this is a rad print for kids. Uh, the kids short size, that's a medium, again, 10 slash 12. Some rad more of that kind of Maori tattoo style almost. Some of the fun ones like these little tiki guys, but they do tons of cool prints for the kids. Uh, and again, all the tees are available as well. So anyway, something to look at <clears throat> and the pricing is quite good on that as well. You'll see in the order form. Thank you for your time.